Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm going to show you how to use uh, the MB Cloth tool for uh, creating a basic simulation of a flag uh, using N Cloth and MB Cloth tools. Uh, so I have a pretty basic setup uh, here, a basic model, a cylinder in a plane. And since MB Cloth tool works primarily for uh, skinned characters, we're going to have to skin this object first. And um, for that, we're going to use uh, my utility here that's called Skin to Joint. And that's it. So now we, we have the skin. We'll just parent this uh, joint to our pole so we can move the whole flag freely. And now we can proceed to our MB cloth creation. Uh, so we're, we'll press that. We'll see that inside the box here. Um, now, if you press play, uh, you probably won't see much. You'll see a little, a little jump here. That's because we still haven't defined what we want our cloth to be. So I'm going to select this object, uh, press paint cloth black, and since we want the whole flag to move, we're going to flood it to zero and use uh, white and little two little dots just to create uh, a constraint. And now we're We'll press black, uh, back, and there you go. As you can see, it's a little, um, it's a little intense. So for that, we want to use our testing cloth tab to get uh, our cloth optimizer tool uh, set up our um, our preset. So now that we have that, uh, we can actually press interactive and just um, there you go change the space scale, uh, as well as um, wind. We can add wind as well. This is no wind. Let's add a little, a little wind to this. It will be nicer that way. Yeah, pretty much something like that. Um, OK, so let's say uh, we, we like this um, preset. We're going to stop that and copy it back to our source and see if it works fine. It works the same. So we can delete our rig now. And now we want to cache this object. So what we'll do, uh, oh, sorry, we want to animate it first. So um, what we have here, since this is already um, uh, end cloth, uh, you can't really scrub back and forth and, and animate freely. So we have this. Um, animation button here, which sets it back from simulation mode to animation mode. So let's just give it a little, a little uh, animation here, something very basic. And now we'll just go to set our rest frames to 15, uh, caching, and play blasting all in the same go, and press simulate. There you go. That's pretty much what we have here. And now we have a simulated cloth and animation. So basically what we can do now is scrub pretty freely. Um, another very cool tool is that we have this slider, which will set it back to its uh, initial state, the skinned version state which actually comes in very handy if you want something uh, animated. So there you go. That's something uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, another very cool tool that we have here uh, is, um, let's say uh, we, we, want our, um, we want our flag to stick to the pole um, on the entire side here. We can just let's just paint that in. Give it a little smooth here, and go back. And this is all real time, and no need for resimming that at all. Um, this is a little too much. Still, we can decrease that a little bit. So there you go. We still have a fair amount of uh, simulation going here. Um, okay, so let's say we want to animate again, or maybe just remove this animation.
animation. We'll just delete that animation tool, uh, that animation, and just see it again. There you go. It was, um, it was set into initial frame, rested, cached, and play blasted all in the same go. Yep. So now that we have something we like, let's say something like this, um, we just want to cache that. They basically bake this completely and um, not have any uh, end cloth inside the, the scene. So we'll just go into publishing and publish the final cache. And that's pretty much it. It's going to remove every end cloth in the scene and just use Maya geometry caching mode. And that's it. So that's pretty much it for uh, this little thing. Um, hopefully, next tutorial we'll show you some more advanced features, uh, especially for characters and um, more advanced tweaking.